Hey Virgo, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you all are doing amazing. And well, this is your general tarot reading for the month of October 2023. And this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's a general love reading, right? So this could be for my Virgos out there. Um, you could be a Virgo, your person could be a Virgo. Take it how it resonates. If you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, you certainly could um, book a reading with me. You can go on my way website or Etsy. Uh, let's take a look, right? So let's see what messages are coming in for love, romance, and partnership for my Virgos, okay? Okay, so let's jump in. Do we'll make a shuffle here. What is the biggest challenge for my Virgos? Let's get two cards for the challenge, okay? All right, Virgo, your challenge is the sun. This could be a Leo in your life. Um, and the Knight of Cups. So it feels like there is some kind of um, re revelation, truth, understanding regarding a love interest, okay? So Virgo, I almost feel like there's someone who really loves and cares for you. That Knight of Cups is pursuing you in love, but it feels like with the sun, maybe it's always been hidden, right? Because that's the challenge and someone coming to light, someone revealing the truth, right? Someone opening up with regard to how they feel. That Knight of Cups is telling me someone has been wanting to make an advancement toward you in love, but I feel like the sun is telling me again, in a challenging position is that they haven't been very confident and they've been keeping it to themselves. They've, uh, it's been hidden, right? And it has affected their ability to be happy. So I feel like the sun is some kind of truth, understanding someone coming to light, right? Regarding their feelings for you. And maybe that's just very difficult for this person, okay? So again, this could be someone that's just not very confident, not very good with expressing their feelings perhaps, okay? This can also be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, in the recent past, we have that King of Wands. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. We have that Moon, which is, again, I'm not surprised. And we have that Six of Cups. So, yeah, I think in the past, this is someone that's very passionate, very much, um, they feel strongly about something. And it's regarding their feelings for you. Now, the Six of Cups is telling me that maybe you and this person are separated or distant. There could have been some kind of breakup. Where you and your person have been both kind of like, still thinking about each other there's a lot of emotions here in the recent past so it's telling me that you both have a lot of history nostalgia right six of cups energy so there's something about the past that maybe you and your person have been thinking and reflecting on and i even feel the moon in the verse is telling me someone is ready or has been ready to let go of their fears insecurities um something that has been keeping them feeling like they have to hide right that moon card is hidden it's someone that is not very open or very secretive someone that doesn't reveal how they truly feel it doesn't come easy for them all right let's take a look at the current energy all right it's the current energy is a ten of cups i like it six of pentacles and then the Queen of Pentacles in a verse. So this is your energy. So I feel, Virgo, there is some kind of reciprocity coming in. There's some kind of balance being restored regarding a connection. I feel that Six of Pentacles is kind of like, you know, I want to do to you just as you've done to me. I want to give back to you, right? This is someone that may want to contribute time, energy, resources. Um, this could be love. So I feel like the Six of Pentacles is definitely telling me there's some kind of balance coming back in where someone is like, I'm ready to like nurture, I'm ready to contribute and give, do my part, give my share, okay? Especially if that's not been the case because of someone's fears um, of expression, of being vulnerable and acknowledging how they feel about you. And I feel like that's allowing that Ten of Cups to come through, right? We have that Ten of Cups there. So I almost feel like this is someone that you may not be in a serious commitment or a connection with right now because, well, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So maybe you've kind of given up. Maybe you've kind of taken a step back. This could be someone you, you just don't rely on anymore because maybe they've let you down or disappointed you. Six of Cups is in reverse. So this is some kind of disappointment you've experienced with someone uh, from your past, okay? I mean, this could be someone you dated very briefly, it could be anybody, but I do feel that Ten of Cups, that happiness, harmony is coming through because of some kind of reciprocity, balance being restored in a connection, okay? All right, let's take a look at your person's energy a little bit more. 
two of wands in reverse, ten of wands. Very burden. We have your energy, Virgo, right? The hermit. And we have the three of pentacles in reverse. So this is definitely someone here that has been wanting to make uh, some kind of advancement towards you. Wands is action, energy, motivation, drive. But someone's very burdened. So that ten of wands makes you feel like someone may have felt like um, because of their actions, something has come to an end. Tens are endings in tarot. And it feels like they've been putting off making a decision because that two of wands is very indecisive. So is this person kind of like playing the fence or have they been procrastinating for a really long time and now they feel like they've missed their chance with you? That could be it. Because I feel like the hermit is this is your person kind of in this deep thought, a lot of deep thinking, trying to figure out how to best move forward, trying to get some kind of enlightenment about you and them, okay? Now, for some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that's been very indecisive because of a third party energy, three of pentacles. And that's the reason why you and them are not together because of some kind of interference or external influence, okay? Someone simply got in the way of you and you and them coming together. Now, I feel like the hermit is your person trying to figure it all out, okay? And I feel like this is obviously you, Virgo, so I feel like you're very much heavily on their mind and they're feeling burdened because it almost makes me feel like both of you have your back turned toward each other. You see that person, this energy and this energy, you know, it feels like your, your backs are turned toward each other. So it's kind of like your person feels like, oh, there's no hope, okay? Um, but let's take a look. Let's take a look at where it's coming in for you and this person or in love. Let's see. Four of Swords, it could be a little bit of a break. The Hierophant in verse. Yeah, and the Page of Pentacles in verse. So someone here really wants to make an offer. Page of Pentacles for me is like, you know, reaching out, sending a text, a message, a DM. It could be something tangible, like a little small gift. Um, someone really wants to reach out, but I think the problem is, is that they know they cannot make that full-blown commitment, okay? So the reason why there are some delays, and I feel like it's a delay more than anything because that Four of Swords. There is the energy of like looking for some kind of peace, looking for some kind of answer, some kind of resolution to a conflict or a problem. And the Four of Swords is like kind of keeping quiet and silent for a little bit, but I don't feel like it's going to be for an extended period of time, okay? Um, I feel like your person, again, is reluctant to make that offer or reach out because, again, they can't make that that full-blown commitment to you right now. And it feels like, well, why come in, right? Why come in at all? Because they know, Virgo, that you deserve much more. You're the Queen of Pentacles here, male or female, doesn't matter. You deserve much more and you're looking for something more concrete, more solid, right? And so it feels like your person's like offer is just too small because pages are very small and they know that it wouldn't go far and it's ultimately not what you want, right? So it's almost like, well, your person's kind of holding back for the time being, okay? And I'm saying time being because I do feel it's temporary. All right, let's jump right in. Get some more answers, some clarity, some truth. Let's dig a little bit deeper. All right, the sun and the knight of cups, right? We're going to focus on that energy because that is the challenge. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, Virgo. Thank you for your love and support on my channel. Couldn't let the weekend start without doing you and Capricorn's reading. So thank you for your patience. Okay, the sun and the knight of cups. We have the six of cups coming out again. I'm not surprised. Why? Because this is someone you have history with. There's a past here and there's feelings that have been built upon um, a long period of time, it feels like. There's, there's history, right? So it's like this is someone that you've done a lot of things with. Maybe you express your love and your feelings for and then things just never really manifested. And so it feels like the energy of the sun is kind of like now someone is like coming to light uh, how they feel. They're revealing how they feel. They're wanting to speak truth about it, right? The sun is like wanting to honor their feelings and be happy. So give me the recent past. The moon could be fears regarding, um, well, making advancements, right? Because the king of wands is moving towards you action motivation the justice in reverse the nine of wands and yeah i mean the chariot so yeah i think in the past this could be cancer it can also be a libra we have pisces scorpio 
Um, I feel like this is something you really had to fight for, Virgo, that Nine of Wands. If you look at this card, it's like the Wounded Warrior. You had to really fight for this person, whether it's getting them to acknowledge you, getting them to respect you, see you, to take action towards you. And something was in balance. Why? Because we have the Justice card in reverse. There was some kind of imbalance. Something may have felt like it's just not fair. I do everything for this person. I support them in any way I can. And still, they're just not there for me. Like, I can't count on them. So I feel like the Chariot Universe is speaking about some kind of loss, some kind of situation that was not ultimately victorious, right? Now, I think in a recent past, someone has also um, recognized this, right? The Moon Universe, they're ready to let go of their fears and insecurities that has kept this where it has been, whether it's stuck, um, not being successful, right? So give me the energy right now. And I like how we have the Justice Universe in a recent past and now the Six of Pentacles in the current energy because that's really speaking about some kind of rebalancing, restructuring of the connection right now, all right? Give me the energy right now. Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Someone is willing to do their part, right? Maybe it took forever. Yeah, Temperance in reverse. We have the Three of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe it took forever, but it's coming in, right? <laughs> Whatever you've been wanting from this person, Virgo, it seems to be finally coming in because, well, the Ace of Pentacles. It's a prize. It's a blessing. It's, a, it's something solid. It's something tangible. It's commitment. It's like, finally, um ready to acknowledge this i feel like there's an opportunity coming in here with ace of pentacles and i do feel and i'm saying this this took forever because that three of wands in the verse is like i've been waiting for my ships to come in i've been waiting to be happy finally with this person ten of cups i've been waiting for something solid right queen of pentacles in the verse virgo it feels like you've been wanting something more solid concrete long term durable right I also see that temperance in a verse, so it feels like, again, timing. <laughs> timing was off. You've waited forever. You've grown impatient, okay? Um, and now it's your person, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Something's coming in. It feels like it's finally balanced. It's what you want. It's maybe what you've been giving all this time, okay? So Two of Wands and a Ten of Wands. Give me more insight. Some indecisive energy for sure. The Hangman, yeah. I'm not surprised. Um, we have the Seven of Pentacles in a verse and the Queen of Swords in a verse. So someone has been wanting to speak to you. It could definitely be a um, Pisces. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel like your person's been doing a lot of thinking and recognizing something here. The Hangman is looking at a situation from a different perspective. And it's regarding their future. Right? We have the Seven of Pentacles thinking about their future, being more realistic, and really trying to see, well, who do I want in my life? Who do I see myself growing with developing with who do i see uh, myself with or in my life seven years from now right so i feel like this is someone that's been really holding back their tongue and while that's only burdened them right we have the ten of wands now they're kind of at a place where it's like i need to make better decisions i need to speak up i need to honor these feelings so give me the hermit what are they really thinking about it could be regarding the three of pentacles coming together building collaborating Five of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Seven of Wands. So someone is willing to drop their guards, right? Um, because someone is recognizing if I drop my guards, maybe I'll have an opportunity to get closer to Virgo. I do feel that Five of Pentacles is your person feeling quite left out in the cold, feeling uh, distant, right? Feeling like there's something missing, Virgo, and that's you. So the Five of Pentacles is your person feeling in this place of lack, like something something is not right. And I feel like this energy is telling me that your person's like, okay, well, now I'm going to take the first step. I'm going to drop my guards. I'm going to stop fighting this connection off, fighting you off, uh, pulling away, pushing you away. And the emperor, now take action. Now move forward with conviction, with confidence, right? With truth. Um, the emperor typically for me is like structure, right? It's coming in and leading the way, having a plan and moving forward and not hesitating, right? So I feel like that's what your person's working on because a hermit, they're really thinking about their next steps, how to move forward and coming to some kind of awareness. Let's see what the outcome looks like. For some of you, there could be a delay in your person doing this. The high priestess came out in the verse, could be a Pisces. There's that page of cups. Is someone um, afraid to apologize? Ace of swords in the verse, the page of cups for me is definitely like, I want to apologize. I want to tell you how I feel. I miss you. I care for you. I'm thinking of you, Virgo, but I can't seem to put it to words. Ace of swords in the verse. I can't seem to bring these words together and come to you and have that conversation and let you know how I feel. So this is someone that is taking their time 
it could feel like you know you and your person are on a break because of that four of swords but i promise you i think the high priestess is here for a reason because it feels like your person is looking for some kind of way to acknowledge something and, and reveal something, right? The high priestess in the verse is revealing something. The veil is coming off. I'm ready to own this. I'm ready to let it out. Um, and that may not be very easy, but I do feel it's coming in with an apology. I care. I'm sorry. And there's feelings. There's deep, deep emotions and feelings here. Virgo, that is what I'm seeing. The biggest challenge here is um, will your person coming to light the sun, recognizing, standing in their truth, um, being confident about how they feel because the Six of Cups, it's not going away. They're constantly thinking about you. They can't get their mind off you. This is someone who's dreaming, mesmerizing um, of you all day, every day. So there's definitely energy of your person coming to light with how they feel and stepping into that power. All right, so Virgo, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe.